because you have best tour guide in Assisi, tour escort in Assisi. Roberto, eh? This we're the same, eh? <laughs> Enjoy your trip, okay? Grazie. This seat was very surprising. Uh, had no, we, neither one of us had any idea what to expect uh, with the CC and the experience there and uh, the mass that was so special. Just uh, a special tour that we had, uh, and the attention that the, that the um, friars gave us it was uh, it, it was it, that was surprising. That was surprising, pleasant surprise. As big as it is, it's too small because when people come, particularly during Holy Week, in the Feast of Francis, and other occasions, there's not enough space to house everybody. It's tight. It, it just was an example of how the Holy Spirit, I think. Uh, really uh, moves in unexpected ways to bring us closer to our faith. And we all got together about four hours late and went up to Assisi and were four hours plus late in getting started and really didn't expect much. I just spoke with the Basilica at St. Francis and um, so they have an alternate plan for us and actually, you know, as a way of things, have a way of working out, it's actually uh, turned out quite well for us. And instead of not getting a full experience that we thought we might get with mass uh, in, in, the, uh, in the special setting that was, that was described, instead what we got was a very personal uh, experience with, with one of the very, very, uh, I think, uh, the devoted friars who gave us a, a, an experience of, of seeing the friary uh, and things that we would not have seen during the day, brought us down into the chapel in the, I guess you'd say sub-basement, in the old original friary, in the old original, uh, I hate to call it monastery because they're not monks, but in the original place where St. Francis and, and his original three or four uh, comrades, friars, uh, actually built the actual the actual friary in, in the four person room they lived in and the original chapel even below that. Our charism of spirituality is joyfulness. That's part of our charism. That's part of the spirit of Francis. He lived in a beautiful world and he saw the world as a work of God, <coughs> not a, just nature of God. And uh, we have a saying in the community, Francis loved creation but loved the creator more. Uh, this trip is not uh, a cookie cutter kind of pilgrimage. It's uh, one that you got to expect uh, surprises, frequent changes in schedule, and you got to be flexible enough to go with it. And if you are, you're going to find this uh, an absolutely delightful trip. What attracted me was the fact that Dr. Moynihan is the editor of Inside the Vatican. And when I read the, um, uh, the description of it in a recent issue of Inside the Vatican, uh, I was attracted to the fact that there would be opportunities uh, beyond the normal pilgrimage. Uh, I've been on two pilgrimages to Rome. Uh, the fact that uh, the possibility of getting behind the scenes, of seeing things that pilgrims would ordinarily not see or be exposed to attracted me very much. For example, getting inside uh, the uh, Holy Office, uh, uh, for example, we, uh, we had um, I've, uh, the name escapes me right now, the priest of Monsignor, uh, who uh, uh, spoke to us uh, about uh, during Holy Week, which is very uh, you know, uh, appropriate. Um, he spoke to us in, uh, about Mary at the foot of the cross. So I say that uh, as something that wasn't scheduled and in a sense behind the scenes. He later took us into the courtyard of, of the Holy Office, uh, Congregation of the Sacred Doctrine, and that was a plus too. So that was just one instance. There were, there were two or three others that uh, I could mention. Uh, the two things that really, really uh, 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 appealed to my intellectual sense of, uh, of, of the church and where it was, and one was, uh, one was the talk I just described, and the other one was the forum uh, yesterday that, uh, uh, that Dr. Moynihan ran with uh, this lady who was a professor of art and art history. Uh, and is the daughter of a former ambassador to Rome. 
and uh, they were analyzing just where the church was today. Now, I suppose I could have been exposed to that in the United States, but the fact that we were in Rome talking about the future of the church or where the church had come from, and, and Dr. Moyne is an expert at, uh, at recapitulating the history of the church, and, and she did an excellent job, too. Those two, uh, two events really, really uh, struck me and, uh, you know, delighted me. Servus servorum Dei. Servus, the servant, could even be the slave. Servorum, of the servants, Dei of God. That is the title of the Pope. My experience seeing the Holy Father can't say that I felt anything in particular. Um, it was more just, I mean, attending the services, whether it's here or back at the States, I know it's the same thing, but just something a little bit more special, I should say a lot more special, being able to attend it with the Holy Father. I think the uh, Good Friday service was very, very special because it was such a surprise to be right in front and being able to see the Holy Father and feeling such a special warmth from him that having seen him only on television before and seeing him in person and his kind visage uh, was just, it was really, really special. That was, it was amazing. It was wonderful. And a very special uh, emotional connection I felt to him, which I had not felt before, uh, simply seeing him in the media. What makes this pilgrimage different from others, it's less like being uh, cattle shifted around everywhere. Uh, it's a lot, a lot more relaxed. Um, basically, you just kind of go with the flow uh, of whatever the moment presents. Um, I think that's very nice. Uh, I've been on many uh, different tours, and uh, people are shuffled in and out. Um, like I say, like cattle. There's a common thread that why we're all here, and I think that um, whatever differences or whatever you know way somebody's character person might rub up against another, it's it's it, it doesn't matter. It's overlooked. It's uh, we all get along just fine. To speak about their um, gospel presence, I guess uh, I could say. My daughter Maddie, who, you know, usually takes a little while to warm up to people, she was pretty quick to make friends with them. Um, so that speaks to their uh, kindness and their uh, spirit. Uh, they are very easy to make friends with, and I'm going to be sorry to uh, be parting company with them for at least a while uh, tomorrow. say thank you to um, Bob and Debbie and Sandy because they worked really hard to make this a really great experience and to really help us um, grow closer to God throughout this whole um, pilgrimage experience and I feel that they accomplished that. I, I, I couldn't say kind enough words um, and words enough of gratitude. Uh, for all of their efforts, and I, I greatly and truly appreciate what they have done.